Hello, hello, happy Friday, dudes. Happy Friday. We're jumping in on Dragon's Dogma 2. Dragon's Dogma 2 is officially released. It actually released at like 8 p.m. last night. Um, if I had known it was going to come out early, a little bit earlier, maybe it would have streamed yesterday. But all the same, we're here now to check out a brand new RPG. I've been looking forward to this game for a while. I really enjoyed the first one. I am hearing some pretty not great things overall though performance is bad apparently there's some pretty predatory microtransactions that were announced last minute i didn't even know they were a thing until earlier today which is obviously kind of lame when it comes to a game like this but i'm not going to worry about that obviously i'm not microtransaction guy i will be avoiding all those just playing the game as is intended without them as is intended without them loving the thumbnails glad, glad you are man where's the damn two i don't know where is the two why, why does it say Dragon's Dogma, but not Dragon's Dogma 2? Weird. Anyway, we're going to start a game. I'm thinking that I'm going to lean into either... Uh, dude, I kind of want to play all the classes, but I'm leaning more towards Thief than anything else right now, so I think that's what we're going to do. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's begin. First things first, we got to make a character. I know that, but yeah. Conviction is the human will. I missed it. <laughs> I was looking at chat. Fevermon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal I fealty. No Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the dragon throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will. 
For naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Excavation Site Jail. was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can either select a prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank slate. Well, obviously we're going to do uh, that, I, right? I thought I recognized Obviously, you. obviously. Yes. Choose a race, body type, and base head to determine the character's basic appearance. You will then be able to make further edits by selecting Customize. Once finalized, the Arisen's face cannot be changed. Okay. All right. I'm going to make a real small dude. Real small, because I'm real small. Adjust the face to suit your liking by making selections over three stages. You will then be able to head... It will use the head you have chosen for a base for further customization. Right. Um. Can't really see the ears on some of these guys, but that's all right. Not really sure which one. I, I don't know if I want to make myself or if I want to make just a different guy. I don't know what I want to do here. Do I make me? Big bald head, but equally large beard. Do do Pebbleson, thank you for four months of sub action on Twitch. And Grimwell, thank you for the Twitch Prime four months as well. I appreciate it. And Bren, thank you for gifting a membership to Snowboards. I appreciate it all, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys got a wide neck. What the hell? Yes. Yes, I would like to customize it further, please. Um, 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 um. Alright, the face is the most important thing to customize here. Neck thickness. We can even edit the neck thickness. Now, uh, let's see. Do they have beards? Are beards a thing? I don't see anything for beard, facial hair. I'm not seeing it. Eyebrows, facial hair. There it is. There it is. Hold on, let me look at your guy. Look at the face. Oh my god, zoom right in there. Zoom right on in. Let's see. Let's see if they have what I I, I think the closest to what I have is this. That's the closest to what I got. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that, that looks good. Got a higher blend of these colors. Sheen position. Sheen position. A 
Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, confirm. Finalize that. There we go. Oh, it finalizes the whole character. Exit character creator. Change will not be saved. No. Yes. Shit. I messed There's it up. No mistaking it. I You're messed it up, one. dude. The controls for this are not great. Usually when you like, when you press B, it just goes back a screen, not exits the entire thing. You know? Not the entire thing. All right. Um, back to the facial hair. Style was... That one. This was like 45, I think. Yes. There, that's fine. Um, back. Okay, so you just press back and it finalizes that there. Okay, I got it. Yo, Winter, thank you for gifting a sub to Fuxy and Elgranon gifting a membership as well to Doctor's Office. Thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. What up, Steve? Hope you're all doing well today, by the way, guys. Thank you for tuning in, checking out a new game with me. We're currently making a character. Currently making a character. All right, surely there's bald. Wait, I just... I just saw it. There it is. There it is. Root color and all this does not matter because we're bald. Very good. Oh, damn. They got my eyebrows right there. Shit, dude. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, body hair style. Let's see. Okay. Body hair density. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Very good. Let's see. Hey, Bavesh. That's actually already really close to what I look like. That's already pretty damn close. What I do need to do is work on the ears, though. The ears are more flat against my head. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Let's say, like, right about there-ish. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you can make some ginormous ears, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good, dude. Hey, Dafka, what up? It's already really close to what I look like. That's kind of crazy. Um, lips. Where do I find lips? Oh, let's work on eyes since we're right here. Eyes. Okay. I keep moving the right analog stick like that's going to do something for me here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I sleep. <laughs> I sleep, dude. This character creator is pretty good. It's pretty good, man. 
Okay, nose. The only thing I really need to do with the nose is bring out the tip a little bit, I think. Not that much. Yeah, it looks good. Yo, Bren, thank you for gifting a membership to Lucid. I appreciate it a lot, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, that's good. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's good. Um, eye color. Where do we change eye color? Eyes. No, let's make up. Can we change eye color? Is that a thing here? I don't see colors there. Spent three hours in the demo creator before launch. Nice, dude. It's under eyes, is it? I'm not seeing it here. I'm not seeing it there. Does anyone know where this is? Smile. Oh, there it is. Eye color. Why is it under makeup? That's weird to me. That is a little odd. Okay, yeah, my eyes are like um like a very light blue, and then the other one is like a very like I, I have very slight heterochromia. But I'm not gonna worry about that. Like they're both very bright. One is slightly on the green side, one slightly on the blue side. I think like 254. Okay, that's fine. Sclera color. Oh boy. Change the sclera. Not going to change the sclera too much here. Oh boy. <laughs> yes, dude. Freckles, I do have some frecklage. I don't know if that's right. Yeah, it's very light on the freckles. I like that. Okay. They're very faint. Pretty good. Lips. Smile, dude. Smile. Yo, Anthony, the $5 is the goofiest character I've ever seen. Oh, wait, that's supposed to be you, my bad? Yeah, don't worry. I agree. I look goofy. I look goofy. Okay, uh, how about piercings? Do we have... It says tattoos and markings. Tattoos, body tattoos, right arm. There's no way we have any piercings around here. 
can put dirt on my face or something, though. I'm not too worried about that. Whoops. Cancel. I accidentally hit B. Takes some two weeks to create a character. Listen, dude, I've seen people spend hours and hours in this already, okay? The amount of time I spent on this is like, what, 15 minutes so far? This ain't bad at all. Thanks for the fiber, Anthony. Okay, I think I'm good with this. This is me. Vocation, let's do thief. I want to thief it up. I want to stab the man's... voice. That's funny. Gallon Night 3 it is because none of them, none of them really, <laughs> it's just random, <laughs> okay? It's just random. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Let's finalize. Age or dude, I'm going with my age. I'm 100 apparently. What the? That scrolled up quickly. We're going to go nice 36. Um, name? It's Josh, dude. What do you mean? Moniker? Surely there's Josh in this game, right? Surely. Surely Josh is listed here. Sure. Really? No, just no, 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 Josh. It has to be Joshua. Wait, what happened there? Why can't I? There. Joosh. Joosh. <laughs> Jorman Gander, yes. All right, that's it. We're done here. I ill like that look in your eyes. It is queerly brazen for a pawn. Listen, bitch. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap it is only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. Yeah, I didn't bother editing the body at all. I don't care. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. You are not very nice. One more add-ons added, you'll gain access to them as you progress through the game. All right. Hey, feckless Dolard number three on the way. Here I come. I'm a prisoner here. We got a cat boy behind us. <laughs> oh, was that was that a Skyrim line? The guy just said never should have come here. Excavation site, the hole. Didn't know we were visiting your mom, chap. Not 
look so clean for an excavation site. Do your yeah. injuries pain you? Pray. Do not overexert yourself. Okay, thanks, Rook. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. All right. I guess we're going this way, huh? I must go where duty calls me. This armor seen better days. Just following the guy. Follow him, he knows the way. Oh, there's the jerk. I see you now. Time for you to get to work. Oh yeah? You gonna give me like a pickaxe or something? Pick up a boulder. One of these guys? You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Oh. Well, that sounds fun. All right, guys, welcome to Drag Dragon's Dogma 2, where we are slave miners. Very good. The vicinity is quite cluttered. Hold on, what'd that say? This and then lantern on? There we go. I've got a rock. I can jump with a rock? Oh my god. Now this guy has an incredible amount of strength. Imagine trying to jump with a boulder laying on your forearms. <laughs> You're just like snapping too. Here you go, man. I got you a rock. A job well done. Now the next step is to... Revolts? Is that the next step? What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. I agree. Oh. Whatever's happening, it can't be good. Oh, what the hell? Ah, yes. Medusa came to visit. Hello. Nice. The damn thing's been awoken. You but fell, that fiend, even at the cost of your lives. Right. Hey, can I get, like, a sharp stone or something, at least? Hey, it's me. I'm playing on PC. Okay. Don't worry, guys. I've done this a million times. Can I climb this bad boy? Oh yeah, come here. Oh yeah. Come here. These may not carry shields, but their nimbleness allows them to dodge and climb. Climb it. Stab it. Stab it in the neck. Boulders, barrels, and the like can make effective weapons for the clever combatant. Okay. Grab objects with the right trigger and throw them with the right bumper. What am I grabbing to throw? Oops, someone just oofed. Maybe a barrel? When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend pinging to Oh god, do not petrify me. I'm just carrying a barrel, dude. Have this! Bitch. Okay, now climb it. Climb it. Okay, I'm not sure how to climb. Maybe I need to right trigger? Yes. Oh. Well, apparently we got it. <laughs> I was going to climb it and stab it in the head. It 
or flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You! Get back here! Quickly! This way, Arisen! Run! Way. Let us flee! Okay. Dodge is on right bumper. It's a little weird. Oh, we're jumping? Just leap of faithing right now? That's a long drop. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Don't just stand there. Shoot it down. Is that me on a griffin? Right. Okay. Dragon's dogma. Where's the two? Did they intentionally leave the two off? It just... <laughs> it's so strange. But it looks nice still. Like the scenery here. It looks great. I don't understand why the griffin stopped there. He's like, ha, try to shoot at me. Just try. Don't you shoot at me. All right, good. They didn't. Well, that is an arbalest, too. That could have been scary. Oh, they're still going to try? God, don't do it. Don't hurt me. No. Why would they do this? Why would they do this? All right, when I find her, I'm firing an arbalest at her. That's it. Yes, I just started. Doing all right, Joey? Welcome back. Welcome, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing great. My guy, you are being swallowed by what can only be explained as magic blood tentacles. All right. 
What's happened here? Don't worry. I'm only being swallowed up by some mythical creature. Here's one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. All right, Justin with two ends. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Right. Or will you fire an arbalest at me when I'm just trying to cross the road? I have a feeling it's not going to go well. Ooh. What's in the box? Salubrious draft. Okay. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from anyway? I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly no like that <laughs> here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Yeah, game looks nice. Game does look nice. Difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Ooh. Fie! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. That will be an X to activate a weapon skill, Biting Wind. All right, wish me luck. Biting Wind. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I'll not force you to the but I'd at least like Hey, can you guys maybe not stab me and smack me with burning clubs? Advantage against their ranks. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Alright, where's the first one that died? There should be three bodies, I only see two. What happened here? Uh, maybe I'm being greedy. I'm just like, okay, you said I can loot, so I want to loot. Where's the third body? I think this guy lied to me. Can I take this? It's glowing green. Green warish. Someone use the word salubrious in a sentence. Yes, please, someone do that. But wait, there's more. Man's just carrying a shield. Oh. I just tried to uh, press B to dodge. Didn't work so well. Ow. An enemy is flinching. You pick them up with the right trigger. Okay. Hey, come here. Nope. I tried to pick him up. It didn't work so well. Stop it. Hey, brother, you got like a, a heal or something? You got like a, like a potion? Because I am very low health. I could use a potion. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Alright, dude. Let me just take some of this wood. Very good. Can I gather more out of that? Ah, okay. 150 gold. Okay, now, um, about that potion, maybe? Nurse and restorative common throughout the land. Consumers recover a fair amount of health. Yeah, drink that up immediately. Ah, yes, very good. Yo, Captain, they give the 20 at Danish. I appreciate the kindness, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Fall damage sucks in this game, I bet. You guys gonna let me in, or... Yeah, I'm playing thief. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Oh. Before you stands a rift stone.
Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Flashbang. You will now summon your main pawn, the loyal companion who will accompany you, accompany you throughout your adventure. What should they look, they look like? Try to envisage their appearance. You can either begin with a preset or choose to create your pawn from a blank slate. Let's make our own pawn. I want a giant cat fighter. That's what I want. Nope, this is fine. Uh, vocation? Fighter guy. We need a tank, guys. We need a tank. Inclination? Straightforward. The people here are evacuated and That safe. doesn't fit at all. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated. The people here. There are more who can. People here. The people here are evacuated. There are more who can yet be saved. There you go. You already know. You already know. Is there a Billy moniker? There is, dude. Let's go. It's Billy. Billy's back, baby! This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. <laughs> He's twice my height. <laughs> He's twice my height, dude. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. Okay. All right. What? You've no memories, you say. The only memory I have is that you have two ends in your name, Justin. Mayhap you could make for Melv then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Border Watch Outpost, Northern Watch, Encampments. By touching a rift stone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge, a twixt worlds which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they're accompanying you, however, you so you may find that you need to hire new pawns, support pawns, at regular intervals. I keep skipping over words. Hail, Arisen. Hey. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer. If it is within my power to do so. All right. Um, tell me of the Arisen. It is the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. Yeah, it's got the dragon claw in its chest, yeah. Even with your memories lost to you, 
I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Riftstones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. Uh -huh. And nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the riftstones that we might aid you, Arisen. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Okay. Very well. Very well. Oh, look at Billy, dude. Looking like a badass. All right. So let me take a look. I didn't want that. Let me look at uh, quests. What do we have? Tales beginning. You've heard word the dragon attacked Melv. Make for the village and witness the aftermath for yourself. All right, let's make for Melv. We got to go. Come on, Billy. We must go. Very good. Billy's following. Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at inns at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. This All right. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. Alec, my pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Aye, what a nice guy. Being armed is better than being defenseless. Even You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. Okay. Singing in fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which represents the reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a, at a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. No hard what a nice guy. About an early repose. What a nice guy letting me take a nap for free. Was that the same woman? I, I think they had similar haircuts, but like, I think they were wearing different clothes. I don't know if that was her or not. The one that shot down the uh, griffin. Oh my god, I'm level 2. I thought I was already level 2. Did I just get it back? Did I lose it somehow? Make for Melv. What's in the box? Aged Scrag of Beast. Ooh. Hey, buddy. Oh, just went right through Billy. Okay, how do I level up my character? How does one do this? Can I not do it right now? Status, maybe? Is it automatically done? Oh, I think it's all automatic. Never mind. I don't have to do anything special. I know there's, like, abilities and stuff, though. Maybe we just haven't gotten to that point yet. Anyways, it's time to make for Melv. You a soldier? Yeah. It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area. Oh, that was my pawn's level, I see. I overlooked it. We've had to start sending out new recruits to Colden. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Pure bonus will be in the inventory at the end? Oh, really? I, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? Sure. Tism. You've my thanks. And Accardo's as well, I'm sure. Took to prior quest to prioritize. Yeah, we just figured that out. Uh, some quests are affected by the passage of time. We'll progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with a risk of being unable to enact act in time. And this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. Okay, well, let me check the inn. I'm going to see if I got pre-order bonuses in here. Hey, where's my, uh, where's my stuff? You got my stuff? Give me the goods. I see no chest in here. At least one that I can interact with. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. Organized storage, maybe? Aha! There it is. 
superior criteria. Look at that. A little bit stronger than what I have going on. I can't use any of this other stuff because it's not part of my class, but I will take this. Your vocation. Come Actually, see. I'll take this and this and see if my pawn can use it. Do come again. Okay, items. Equip. Give to Billy. Give to Billy. Now, how do I... Aha. Oh, yeah. Equip that. Equip that. Oh, yeah. We're looking good. You and me, Billy. Come on, buddy. Attentive and loyal. Bye. And prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Why are you telling me this? Oh, you're a pawn. <laughs> he just comes up and he's like, I'm a good man. <laughs> like this dude, you're screaming insecurity right now. Sure, join the squad, dude. To travel? Pawns are awarded badges as a mark of their accumulated knowledge and expertise, whether they be that be proficiency in combat or experience exploring. Pawns with badges are more helpful to the Arisen in word and in deed. Monster badges are awarded to pawns who have defeated a certain number of particular type of monster. Such pawns are by then so experienced with the creature in question that they know the best ways to defeat it and will offer beneficial advice to the Arisen. Field badges are awarded to pawns who have camped a sufficient number of times in a particular region. When adventuring in said region, the pawn will display their knowledge of the area by offering beneficial advice to the Arisen. Okay. Experience speaks, you say. Anyway, um, quests. Ordeal of the new recruits. This is, like, literally on the way, so let's just... There. Let's go. Sir Ricardo is in need of our aid. Yeah. Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. Okay, thanks, Borden. Well, if you insist. I'm only glad I don't have to lead the way for a change. Hold on. There's a there's a man. There's several mans. There are four commands that the Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions, and their effects vary according to the circumstances in which they are used, such as when in, a, in or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and of course and course of action in various situations. Go instructs pawns to act independently of the Arisen. To me instructs pawns to approach the Arisen. Wait instructs pawns to remain where they are until they are given a different command. And help instructs pawns to prioritize support, healing, and recovery. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The only chicken gets the worm, as they say. Nice. Have you no loot, sir? They have no loot. Hold on. Is there anything cool down here? Ah, more mans. Most impressive master. Hey, thanks, dude. Wow, Billy, good job. Also, I think the archer might have explosive arrows because uh heard some pops. Ooh, look, loot. Look at the loot. Should my pawn be named Billy? My pawn is named Billy. Right there, you see? This is my main pawn. That's Billy. Billy's slow. Fighters in general are on the slower side in movement speed. Just how it is. In many games. Okay. What was that? This is generally used as a material. Oh. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. What did I just I hear? Preferred not to have to fight so soon. Oh, Billy. Pop off, dude. Try not to get hit. Let's do that bin go to waste. I most definitely just smack that rock.
That goblin had a hundred gold in this pocket. What the? Yeah, I'm having a good time already, man. I'm enjoying it already. Follow me, if you would. Yep, I see you. I'm following you. Go on. Are you coming, master? Our path is here. Boy, these harpies? They look like harpies. Uh, what is happening? Who are you? You come to aid me. I I can't really. Oh, nice, good job. Stab. Ooh, stab. Very good. Hold on, I got more stabbing to do. Hold on. Oh, I slid off the rock. Never mind. No stabbing for me. Not this time. I love how my character just casually runs up and is just like stab. One cannot help but feel indomitable. Jagged bone. Is that all of them? Hey, Biggie. Yeah, you have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder. I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope. Okay. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? I gotta go all the way back to this guy? Alright. I would just think that it would be done there and we could just carry on, but let's go back. Oh, I'm out of breath. Hold on. This guy's got loot. Oh. Just took that guy's skin. Then again, I don't think he'll be needing it anymore. He is all dead and stuff, you know? Uh, perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but something to note. Scarecrow, play the first game and you'll see that this is more of the same. Hey, friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. T'was a relief to see him return. And none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. Yeah, just based on what I'm seeing already, if you've played the first game, then you'll know what this game is all about. Like, it's just more of that, <laughs> just in the Speaking modern era, I guess. Regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. Thousand gold and lantern oil. My dude gave me lantern oil. Now I can see in the dark. Over here, if you please. Hold on. There's still an exclamation mark up here. What is this exclamation mark? Is it the guy up top? Do I have to speak to him? Hey. Oh, sorry. If your plane at arisen in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ere long. All right, thank you for the profound and very deep conversation. You're gonna get your head cut off there, bud. That's what he said to me. I'm not sure what this exclamation mark is about. I'm so small I am. I'm tiny. I am tiny. All right, Borden wants me to follow him. Hold on, let me look at my quest. All right, that's active again. Good. All right, I'm following you, Borden. Let's go, dude. Pray, follow me. It's just a ladder. Okay. Hey guys, uh, make sure you hit the like button if you're enjoying your time here. If you want to see more of this game played on stream in the future, your likes will let me know. Make sure you leave the like on the video. Ah, they have returned. Stabs. 
stab. And that's actually brutal. Vocation rank up. Let's go. Dude gave me an apple. Oh! Debilitations are negative statuses with effects that range from inflicting damage at steady intervals to, m to making the target vulnerable to a specific type of attack. But not exclusive to the Arisen and their pawns, they can be inflicted upon their enemies as well, granting a fierce edge in battle if applied wisely. Consult each debilitation's entry for more information about its effects. Drenched. I've been drenched. It means I'm wet. Very good. Yo, good job, Billy. You too, Borden, I guess. Follow me, if you would. Yep, I would. I would, Borden. I'm on my way. My character is still dripping. You hear that drip? I'm still drenched. Who's the man? You, sir, with the sword and shield. You're another pawn, aren't you? You're also not a sir. This way, master. Apologies. Hold on. I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. Uh huh. Hold on. What did I miss? Okay. Yo, Captain, maybe the 20 Danish was Billy a bully as a kitten? Nah, he's a nice cat, dude. He's a nice cat. Freya, level 6. Also a rogue, apparently. Wait, it says rogue, but you have a sword and shield. That's possible? Eh, sure, we'll Please hire you. With the formalities. Come on. Pawn quest or task given to your main pawn to be complicated beyond the rift. Set the task and must stipulate a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task's completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. When setting a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select a specific item or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory, gold to be subtracted from your funds. It is also possible to trade with other Arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as the pawn quest objective. Right. Pray, follow me. I was hiring someone, dude. Relax. Hold on. What's down here? Hold on. Looks like maybe something. To me. What's this? Seeker's Tokens. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out-of-the-way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall and you'll receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You, mu you must leave no stone unturned, nor corner of the world unexplored, if you would complete your collection. These really are hidden in the most unlikely places. EA Collectibles! Interesting. I, shall have to inform I don't like collectibles. Not a fan. so tiny i specifically made my character small on purpose it is intentional that is my choice i did that i did it thank you again captain i hear oinking i hear oinking hold on what's over here his <laughs> short king Martyr's resting place. Some sun bloom, okay. Ooh. 
Okay. 500 gold coins sitting in a bag at the top of the hill. We take that. I got to get used to the idea of dodging on right bumper. That's so awkward. So this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Me In light of the recent spate of monster attacks, Oxcart service is suspended till further notice. A hey, a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the dragon. Okay, hold on. I, I can't resist going this world. way. Please hold. I suppose tis so. Up. Okay. <laughs> hey, come here. There you go, buddy. There you go. He was throwing stuff at me. I couldn't let him live. Hopefully these goblin horns are something good in the future. Combat looks a bit button mashy. I have Master, a very low level no character with two abil three abilities right now. Carve, Twin Fangs, and Biting Wind. <laughs> you're 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 judging a brand new character, man. Oof, I'm dead. Don't worry about it, I'm already dead. But yeah, don't don't read too deep into the combat yet. This is brand new. <laughs> you can't you can't call it button mashy when I don't have any of the new abilities yet, you know? <laughs> Alright, come here. Oh, I just jumped right off that. Yes! The big stab. I thought there was someone more up top. Fruit Roborants. Just what I say, there's more there's I more like character moves and stuff as time goes on. I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Okay. However, I think I have a full squad right now. I can hire you for free though. Alright, cancel. I think I'm full up. I can only have three pawns, right? Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. All right, Archer, knock it down. There you go. I'll stab. Good shit. Now stab it. All right, so based on the idea of there being flying enemies, having an archer is going to be very key to knock them down to the ground. Very key. Or, you know, I could just, like, pick stuff up and throw it at them, I guess. Is this... What's happening? Hold on. Where? Wow. Okay. I will protect you. I didn't even see it. Can I climb? No, can I? Oh, it moves. Aha. 
Aha! We we'll have to make our way over to it. I don't know, Psyduck. I don't think I would really want to, though, because I'm playing a thief. I don't want to wear heavier armor, right? Weight does matter in this game. Slowing myself down would be not great. Yeah, I just haven't seen any yet, Anthony. One can see far to the distance from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. It is a magnificent view. The landscape seems to unfold in all directions, revealing its secrets to the patient observer. I quite agree. How might I serve you, Arisen? So this is Melv. The scar. Oh, I thought you had something important to say. At any rate, something to note. None of our number are trained in the healing arts. Yeah, I know. We may be trying without someone to cure our wounds, but for now we shall just have to manage. That leads back down to where I came from. So that note said if I'm patient, something will reveal itself, but, uh... Something tells me that something like specifically that happens at a certain time of day or something. This is rather thrilling. I don't know if this is gonna hurt or not. Guess we'll find out. Okay, it didn't hurt. Forgotten Riftstone. Oh. It will be a joy to serve one so gallant. Hey, Brorsan. You're also a fighter. Nope. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, pal. We're full up. Need a Cyclops in your life? Yeah, maybe we'll encounter one. Ah, so how do we get over there? There's a goblin over there on the other side of this. There was skin on those bones? We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. You don't say. All right, so it's over there on that side. Let's see if we can find them. Aha. I just want to drop in there so bad. Get them, boys! This battle couldn't have come at worst time. I only hope our victory is a swift one. I'm going in! Okay, we got him. I feel like that was a dumb move, but we did it. Wake stone shard, scrap iron. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. No items dropped out of those. Oh, hold on. Examine that guy. An apple. Seen a dead guy down there. Hmm. Do I have an active quest right now? I'm just kind of wandering around. Dragon's Wake, wander around the village. Oh, right. I took a completely different path. I, uh. Yeah. That's my bad. I forgot that I'm supposed to do that.
parching concoction. Very useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. I say we collect as much as we can carry. Pity warts. Oh, running low on stamina here. Hmm. Closed gates. Seems the bridge has been taken out as well. All right, let's go back to the town then. Down the hill we go. Yes, I know I need a mage. No worries, I'll get it soon. I will sort it out. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Oh, right, I forgot you can actually go through the pawns inventory systems. See what they have, because I do believe they'll pick stuff up on their own, too. Noticing uh, an icon. Looks like uh, something maybe I can mine. But getting down there and then getting back up is a bit precarious. Yeah. I don't know how I would get back up. Yeah, see, I'm the other way, Ali. I don't think every game needs a mount system. I just don't think that every game needs that. Right on, Lethal. Thank you for being here. Thank you all for being here. Thanks for leaving a like on the video. See, I'm just a fan of games feeling unique. I How want games to be different. Like, a, a, having a mount in every masters. game, <laughs> like a fantasy game like this, One just it just makes everything feel samey. Doing something a little bit different every now so there, often is a good thing to me. Someone here doesn't like me. Yeah, that's what you did in the first game as well, Joel. Well met. Jesus. A makeshift jail key for 3,000. Ring of Aggression. Ring the grants power to the wearer whose spirit resonates with its magic boosts strength. And then Resolution. Ring bearing a mysterious power that invigorates the spirit. The wearer is less likely to be knocked down or staggered. I can't afford either of those right now. I guess I can sell the weapons I'm not using, right? That makes sense to me. I love that Borden said I can go through his inventory, but it turns out he doesn't have shit in his inventory. <laughs> to see you again. Please go no through my backpack. You'll find nothing in there. I just hope the shopkeeper understands. Browsing was enough to scratch the it. That is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate. That's the one that shot the arbalest. Oh, uh, 
Um, I think I'm having a flashback, maybe. Oh boy! Why did we ever try to advance? No, I'm getting in there. Screw that, dude. I'm getting in there. Give me them toes, dude! I'm doing no damage to you, and it's great news. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Nope, I take a nap instead. Goodness, how are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you. Like it is not a Souls like now. It's an RPG. The second time, you say? Or you have my thanks? Yeah, you have my thanks. Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. Listen. Surely you saved me, but you also shot me out of the sky. Like, I think there's maybe, like, a balance here, you know? Like, maybe I don't owe you now, <laughs> because you also tried to kill me. After all, it is only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon? I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. I seem to have become arisen. Arisen? I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Yes, Mephit Blue, yep. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. 
person. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. Hello, Gregor. Match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermin, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Okay. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? I guess we'll go to the inn first. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Okay. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. You needn't worry yourself on my account. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. Wow, good job. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. Ah, classic. It will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? Yeah, you I'll help. That. You'd get the medicine for me. Suppose there's no harm in that. If you seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. You can combine two materials to create a new item. When combining, you can either choose the materials individually or select the combination that you have previously tried. You can also prioritize the inventory you want materials to be taken from first, the Arisens or their pawns. Okay. We could Let's see. Items. Greenwareish. Combine with apple. Yes. Salubrious draft. Once again. Is that what she wanted? I mean, that's the items that it showed in the little thing. Or simply purchased. Hello again, sir. See. Have oh. you brought some fruit robberant for me? You want fruit robberant? Medicinal pellet containing bits of fruit. Consume it to recover a great deal of health. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Oh. So this is what it looks like. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. Okay. Such moments make me proud Ring of Exaltation. Oh, really? Ring imbued with power slightly boosts max health. Let's put that on. I could always use more max health. That's always good. Here we are. Now, let me see about combining more... Well, no, hold on. You're the Never one mind. Saved Leonard. Ulrika's life, aren't you? Yes. She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. I was in the character creator for yeah, like 20 minutes. Consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? There's guilds. Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vacation. Right. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. Okay. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Ask about thieves. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades lack heft, though this grants them the advantage of speed. Thieves Gotta fall go the light fast. Armor, which leaves them more vulnerable to attacks than those of other Hey, Bren, hey, Barge. Hey, Emo. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer agility. Ask about other vocations. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. 
Try them, as you like. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which vocation you adopt. But I shan't take up any more of your time. Sounds Ray, good, Deuterino. Hope well. to see you soon, man. The Maester's Teaching. Maester's Teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Maester's Teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Maester with your abilities. However, the true potential of the skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high enough. Moments long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. They do say good things come to the... Here at the inn, we also... I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both roles myself. Vocation guilds... That, me. Acquire equip skills. Here we go. All manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the guild hall of a vocation guild. Changing vocation, if you... Have unlocked a vocation, you can change it at any time. Unlocking new vocations requires discipline, which is accrued when defeating enemies and completing quests. Each vocation trains different skills, and you'll be able to learn new skills as your rank within vocation rises. Learn skills, learning skills requires discipline. Core skills can be employed from the moment they are acquired, but weapon skills must be equipped before they can be used. There are special abilities that can be equipped regardless of your current vocation. Augments are required by spending discipline and are active from the moment they're equipped. You can equip, equip up to six augments at once. A broader variety of augments will become available to you as your vocation rank increases. Okay, let's take a look. Enkindled Blades. Brings the daggers together to ignite. Wreathing them in flame for a short time can also be employed while clinging to or pinning down a foe. Dude, that's sick. Yeah. I have 992 discipline. Shadow Cloak enables the user to blend into their surroundings, rendering them more difficult for hostile targets to detect. Less effective when attacking or dashing. Consumes stamina while active. Helm Splitter leaps up, then dives through the air while spinning. Blades extended. More powerful when performed from high places. Also employable midair. Okay, and Powder Charge. Places an explosive on the ground at the user's feet that can be detonated from afar at a moment of their choosing can also be employed while clinging to or pinning down a foe. Damn. I want all of these. I'm going to start with Enkindled Blades. I think the, the one that I don't want the, at all is, like, if, I'm, if I if I really take three of these, I'm going to leave Shadow Cloak behind. Look at that. All these abilities, dude. Okay, Billy, let's take a look. You got 869 discipline. What do we have? Airward slash. Performs a jump while slashing diagonally upward. Can be effect an effective means of assailing flying targets. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah. Shield bash. Delivers a powerful blow with a shield that can knock targets off balance. And shield summons. Wraps the shield loudly to attract the attention of nearby targets. Yep. Like a challenge. Sounds good to me. Let's get you shield bash as well. Why not? Let's get them all. Okay. Um. Why can't I do anything? Did my game just crash? Yes, I am playing on PC. What up, Itachi? Hello? Yep, game crashed. Son of a bitch. Now we're going to compile the shaders. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. I don't know why it launches windowed. There we go. Yeah, new game indeed. Yeah, let's see where it ended up uh, saving. Oh boy, speak with Leonard. Damn it, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to speed through that conversation. It's fine. Oh, hold on. Um, my chat just closed and the game will not let me get to it. There we go. No. Bruh. I hate when games do this, when they just kind of disable everything else on your PC on other, other monitors. It is so frustrating. Oh, 
What does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. Hold on. Hold on a moment here. Today. I guess that'll do for now. That is kind of annoying. Anyway, the back end, to this. We also offer changes of oak. I get so few customers, you see. That Did I, I... Both roles myself. Did I save all my abilities and shit? It did not. But it's fine. So I can just put them back. Also, let me look at core skills. Scarlet Kisses unleashes a fury of forward slashes. Controlled Fall tucks the body into a tight roll when hitting the ground after being knocked down, allowing the user to swiftly regain their feet. Reduces damage upon taking taken upon impact. When knocked down, press A the instant you make contact with the ground. Oh boy. Subtlety could be good too. Um, let's get Helm Splitter going. Maybe I'll leave Powder Charge behind for now, so that way I can... <laughs> Just tap X repeatedly for Scarlet Kisses. Subtlety is good. And we'll get Scarlet Kisses. And then you... True Deflect. Oh, that's Parry. Flex attacks back to the target impressive mites. Yeah, let's get that for you. Traces a grand skyward arc with the blade, sending lightweight targets flying into the air. Increases physical defense. Yep. We want airward slash on you. I guess we'll grab shield bash while we're here for you too. All right. But enough about me. Did you need something? Nope. Always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now. Quests. Leonard wishes to speak with you. Seek him out at the inn, and then enter Vernworth. Hello, if there Leonard. is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Tis a vacation for those who seek to master. I yes. am a fighter myself, and should there come a time, very well. There is no, but I shan't take up any more. Now here's the thing. It says Leonard still wishes to speak with me. Why? What up, Michael? If there is aught you wish to know of vocations, should you dedicate, try them as you like. Maybe I just need to ask about all the vocations first. Range, however, a bow is. Tis a vocation for. However, the more thus a mage is un. Tis a vocation for those thieves flavor like. Their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate very well. There is, but I shan't take up any. I don't understand. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. I have ran every dialogue well. option. There is no, but I shan't take up. Maybe I just need to leave. I don't know. Anything down here that I can like steal or something? Yep. Hey, Aaron. We have found a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Yes, you have said that before. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. Oh. The watch is waiting for you. Oh. Shall we seek some answers? Speak with Gregor. What am I to do? You really ought to have returned. Why'd you lead me in here? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I'll take the money, but like... So you Gregor wishes to speak with you, Master. Shall we go to him? Yeah, we're going. Certainly, Master. I can take you to this individual. The vanguard is yours. Lead on. We're going, we're going. And try Rise of Ronin yet? I checked out a little bit of gameplay on it. I'll be honest, it doesn't really look all that great. Ah, you've returned. 
I don't know. Timing, what up, too. Benito? I have questions for you. Hey, Sloan, how you doing? First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? Sure. My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? I mean, I would like to look around. Very well. Speak. And also, we should probably hit the inn, so that way we can like get back to max health and everything. Hey, nothing going on over there. How about the quest with the other guy, though? Okay, it did go away. I just had to leave the inn, I guess. A bit weird, but it worked out. Now let's just go around robbing the neighborhood, okay? Listen, I am playing as a thief, okay? I am playing as a thief. I'm just going to go around taking the town's goods. Their dried fish, their money, you know, all their things. We're role-playing, okay? Which actually, this reminds me, you guys, uh, you, you, many of you know of The Witcher 3, right? If you've ever played the game, you often find that when you do side quests for like random villagers, they'll pay you less like they'll they'll give you like less gold in reward for completing the quest than you would get if you just walk into their house and rob them. Like you just go in, open up all their boxes, and you'll find like hundreds of like gold and all all sorts of like crafting materials and shit. And then when you do their quest, like, oh I can only pay you two hundred gold, sir. Like, bro, I stole three hundred from under your pillow. What do you mean? Anything in here? Looks like some storehouses. Josh, mad they're not forking over the life savings. <laughs> I'd give you more, but some bastard robbed my house. Oh yeah, that was me. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Oh, no, see, that's the, the thing is, is the devs intended for you to steal from them, too. That was an option. So you're still doing as the devs intended. If it wasn't intended, it wouldn't be programmed in the game to take their goods. Let's be clear. Okay, well. Sturdy enough to climb. We see about making one of those uh, fruit rubber and things. How do we do this? Can I just take a ripened apple, combine it? Nope, I cannot. How about a horse bud? Nope. I didn't want to give, no. Combine branches with... Well, oh, that creates drenched arrow, tarring arrows. Okay, I'm seeing now. Ah, row roberant, dried fish, green warish. Let's make three of those. See, stealing the dried fish was worth it. But of course, I can't make any of this other healing stuff because I don't have these other like fruits and stuff. But hey, we got something. After you, arisen. Draken ward. I'm going up. You got all these weapons out here and stuff. I'm going to take the copper ore, though. Aha. See? A fluted bow. Is this the arbalest that shot me down? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, my character's doing flips and shit. Bro, I think this is what shot me down off my griffin. How come no one's mentioned that, by the way? Oh. Oh, you're all screwed now. I expect you'll be wanting my assistance. Leave it to me. Oh, you're all in trouble now. Turn it. 
turn it on the town. Drawing the bowstring. Wasn't on a boat? No, it was on a tower. This tower. Okay. Oh! Wait, that, that person just died. <laughs> Vengeance! This is for the Griffin! It's for the Griffin, dude! Kills all NPCs and has to start a new game. They're just like watching me. Hold on, let's go for the headshot. Are you good? All right, I, I've I've gotten my my vengeance. I, I've had my revenge. I I have had my revenge. I am feeling satisfied. Hey guys, what happened down here? What happened to you? Reviving the dead. If a resident of this world dies, it is not necessarily the end, for the Arisen has the power to revive the fallen by using a wake stone in close proximity to them. Bear in mind, however, that the bodies of the dead are not left to the mercies of the elements, but will in short order be taken to a morgue or charnel house. Is that how I say that? Charnel? In one of the larger cities. No harm in picking a few. Yet they thought it would befall him. Hmm. I couldn't live with this. <sighs> this can't be right. I'll never leave. Lots to do. You ever throw someone at someone else? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done fooling around. See to the sovereign. Make your way to the capital. Okay. Watch as Winfield the village entrance. Okay. Let's go. I feel like we've done enough here. Here's a question, though. How come they didn't fire that at the dragon? Or at least successfully. Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Yes. I didn't do anything while while you weren't looking. Good. Then let us be on our way. Okay. We're going. That's for killing my griffin. Come to think of it. Some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Now there's I never slept at the inn like I intended to. Whoopsie. Surely we'll be okay though, right? Surely we'll be fine, guys. Caused enough damage here, time to move on. Yes. Carry on then. is the lawful ruler of Vermond. Hey. So it has always you look like a mage. To claim that I'll carefully conserve my strength and endeavor to survive every battle by way of sound strategy and defensive tactics. Sounds great. Arissa, level 8. I don't have enough RC to hire, hire you. Never mind. You are wise indeed to have sought my aid. Except I didn't. I should have used the pawn thing at the town. If there was one, I didn't see one, but certainly there should be, right? What's funny is, um, I already explored this path. Already killed everything on it. Okay, you're another mage. Can I perhaps hire you? Are you of more affordab affordability? I shall be proud to serve you, Arisen. Level 8. Damn it. This has no bearing on our current conversation, but might I say... Something to note... None of our number are trained in the... Hold I'm aware. Moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Okay. Hey, jo uh, Jojo. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. 
An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Mm -hmm. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Right. All's been arranged. It's Come. good to have you back, Sloan. Let us pass through the gate. Okay, before we continue on this way, I need to I need to pee. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. And also be sure to leave a like on the video. Uh, I know it's you know it's tacky to constantly ask, but when it comes to new games and really trying to broaden my horizons on my channel again. Trying to play a, a larger variety of things. It would mean a lot to have your support. And please hit the like button. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. Hey, Mike. What's going on around here? I feel like I should be checking out these little, like, side areas. Yeah, see? Savagery extracts. They are apt to dwindle in the heat of what the glowing bug is this? One of the next foe we encounter. Golden Trove Beetle. What do you do, Mr. Beetle? A rare beetle that glitters like gold, consuming it increases the weight one can carry by 0.15 kilograms. The Arisen's main pawn can also receive the same effect. Oh, interesting. I guess that's permanent, huh? Well, I guess we have to keep an eye out for golden trove beetles all over the place. Small fang. Hold on, what was that? Oh, doesn't matter, I missed it. Another chest. 
Yo, Dr. Mystique, thank you for the Twitch Prime four months. Glad to support you. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. It means a lot, the Mystique. Thank you. Run to call your companions pawns. Yeah. It's always struck me as a little weird, but I mean, it's just the world they live in, I guess. I don't know. What's this? Modest camping kits. Oh, now I'm very heavy. Damn it. If there isn't as a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent by the remains of a campfire found at set spots throughout the wilderness. Much like staying in an inn in town, resting at a campsite restores the party's health and stamina, recovers the lost gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town should be sure to keep a camping kit in their packs, lest exhaustion overwhelm them. Camping also affords the opportunity to grill meat, granting a certain or a boost to certain stats upon consumption. The finer the quality of the meat, the greater the increase you can expect. Before setting up camp, it would be prudent to eliminate any foes lurking nearby. Neglecting to do so only heightens the chance of an ambush while your party is at its most vulnerable. No, I do not want to camp right now. Now there's a worthy prize. If only it weren't so far away. What do you mean? Oh. There's a chest over there. Can I grab fish? Oh. Let me just... You're well fond of picking Yoink. Things up, aren't you? Yeah, I enjoy picking up loot, Billy. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk in deep waters, rivers, lakes, and the sea, and you'll instantly consume anyone or thing that wades into their midst. If this fate befalls the Arisen, they will be revived momentarily, but they are the exception. Pawns will become forfeit, and all other living creatures are met with an immediate watery death. Oh. Ah. Right. Uh. Well, I guess we're not getting that chest anytime soon. <laughs> it seems I have been swallowed by the red water. Yikes. Love it that you have a billy? Of course. Of course I do. Would you expect anything less of me? An ox cart was meant to meet us, yet tis nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Take a drink every time they say aught. Right? Happy Friday, dude. Happy Friday. <laughs> or pray, yeah. <laughs> it ought or pray. Be hammered in no time. God. Okay. So I guess we got to find the cart, huh? Let's use this real quick. 30 RC. Is that giving it to me or is it spending it? Doo -doo -doo. I would like to hire one mage, please. Mary. Mary the mage. We have Kiri, level one. Kate, level four. Okay, Leon. Can it, will it just spawn in more if I go deeper in? Nope, it does not. These are my choices. Got archers over here. Are you a mage? You are indeed a mage. We're looking for a mage. You know what? We're going to go with uh, Mary here. I'm attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Hire. Who do we lose? I think we lose the other fighter, right? Sorry, Freya. A gift from my inventory? 
Uh, sure. Have... <laughs> have a rotten apple. <laughs> Thanks Whatever for coming else, out. Are you fit to travel? <laughs> then let's not dawdle. God, that's toxic. Hey, thanks for coming by. Have this have this freaking old apple, dude. What up, Coco? I'm enjoying the game as well, dude. Help! Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Are you healing? Oh, dude. It, need of healing. it is gladly. a healing aura. That's sick. Wait okay, good job. Billy's healing. Borden, why don't you step into the circle, my dude? Or don't. That's cool, too. Anyway, carry on. Well, you made yourself? Yeah, I had to. Had to take the opportunity. Oh, what the hell happened? Random landslide? Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Right. I think we can go up this uh, shore to get over that that chest. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> Those deer magic, yeah, the deer cast earthquake. Oh, nice fancy flip. Um Gotten something arisen? <laughs> You're looking rather lost. I think the chest is on the other side of this, so let's go above. No, is that was that chest not right here? I guess it's up that. I guess we did go further down the hill than I originally thought. Okay. Love today's video. I'm glad you did, man. I'm glad you did. Thanks for taking the time to uh, to watch it. I did put out my Dark Souls 3 Arch, Arch Thrones video today. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Oh, thank you for the strawberry, man. What a nice guy. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit. Let's do that Oh, damn. My magic's grown to an elemental demon. So we just kind of tore them up. Also, I think my mage can enchant my weapons too. That's pretty sick. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Can I take the fish off this stick? Fish on a stick. I can. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, I, um, I beat uh, the first game, but that was also ages and ages ago. We could pick some now and use them when the need arises. So because of my character's weight, I am running out of stamina extremely fast. I wonder. Give that to Billy. What else can we give to Billy? Billy, have these two. These look pretty heavy. There we go. Now I'm average weight again. No sense of the enemy gain the upper hand. No, this is the Oh, damn. 
Everyone get in the healing bubble. Okay. Guys, look at this. Look at this ability. You just kind of turn into Sonic the Hedgehog for a minute. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! My wages on the road ahead. Ow. Uh oh. Hey, okay, nice little heal. You guys are still killing things. I'm just out here looting. Can I go up this? Location rank up. Oh, if there's any enemies around, they're about to get an explosive barrel right in the face. Though I don't think there are any. There's that symbol again. Can I actually mine something back here? I gotta figure that out. Is it that? Ah, oh, it is. It does point out resources for you. Pointing out a chest over here as well. It is up this way. You can see the chest symbol on the on the compass on the, the mini map on the bottom left. But I can't actually like see it. It indeed must be further up. But I don't know if I can climb up from down here. Yeah, it's definitely up there. Alright. I hate leaving loot behind. want to buy this game what's your opinion on it it is still pretty early but if you've ever played the first one i can tell you already that it's very much so that with just better graphics it's up to you to decide whether or not that's a good thing but for me it's a good thing Right. Just that one goblin, then. There's a harpy over there. Be careful. Harpy over there, too. Harpies everywhere, it seems. Oh, God! He's carrying a man! Um, how can I get down here without dying? Oh. Apparently like that. Okay. Freshly rested This battle ought to be an Nice. Place. Someone shoot that man down. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Can someone fire at that harpy, please? No? Alright, I'll do this. It's fine. Wake, wake up! What do you... Oh, I think that's a sleep spell the Harpy's casting. Yeah, that tracks. That adds up. Combat music's still playing. It means there's... Oh, another one of these Golden Trove Beetles. Nice. Come on. Shoot them down. I will stab... Very good. You must wake. Board and shoot them down, buddy. I can only do that if they're like directly underneath me.
All right. We got them. I'm in heavy territory again. Hello, sir. While in another world, I happened upon a treasure chest rather close by here. Perhaps I could show you the way. Did you guys hear that? Billy said while in another world, people were, uh... Or he, he found another treasure chest. People are hiring Billy. That's sick. Oh my god, of course, Billy, you're a cat. You can climb so much better than I can. He said he found a treasure chest nearby and started to lead me to it, now and then just kind of time to stopped. Through your belongings, master. Let's this. see. What can we do without? Well, I'm assuming that we want to go over to those ruins. Oh. <laughs> hey, I could use a little bit of a heal. I just face planted. Mary, please. May I have some heals? Yes, master. I shall hasten to your aid. Thank you. Stay with me, Arisen. Get go, I Wait did. Now they're just kind of like climbing on this rock and then going no further. That Billy's not too smart. Alright, you know what? I kind of just... I'm just going to carry on, Billy. I'm just going to go. Surely we'll find more loot elsewhere. As much as I would like to find whatever chest you are on about. You're kind of stuck climbing on that mountain. I'm just not interested. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. All right, cool, man. Good job. Oh, dude, there's there's no, there's a lot of really bad feelings out there, but getting the wind knocked out of you and feeling right. like helpless because you can't breathe in for whatever reason really sucks. Fulgurous Lord. Okay, that guy just looted that and took that away from me, but what is that? more that cast a spell upon being read usable even by those incapable of magic invoke high leaven a lightning spell give to me and tell you what i'll give you something in return okay i'll give you something here you can have these because you can make arrows out of them okay there you go there you go dude Spotted. Soft neck wrap. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that, dude? Game kept shooting the bed for me. Capcom has fallen. Nah, even Resident Evil 4 on launch had some pretty rough stuff happening, man. I'm not saying it's a perfect game by any means. It crashed for me once earlier too, but like new games often go through this. It's not just Capcom. Even Elden Ring. You guys remember when Elden Ring launched? The PC performance for Elden Ring was god awful for the first couple of months. Hey Stan, hey Ann.
Hello, sir. What's this? We're trapped. What do you mean? Oh. That is a Cyclops. It's already injured, though. I, a Cyclops. To think we'd encounter one here of all places. It just threw its club. Okay. Time's an ever-flowing river in the world, and the activities and behaviors of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long, and may only appear in the morning, at night, or at the midday. To pass the time, you can either stay at an inn or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. Come nightfall, you will to see no further than the ground at your feet, and the onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril, and be sure to have a lantern in your pack. Some items can be gathered with can, that can be gathered will change over time, such as by ripening or growing more flavorful. They were also items that, if allowed to age just long enough, will become more useful when combining materials. However, you should keep a close eye on raw items in particular as consuming anything that has been aged past its prime is likely to have unpleasant side effects. Certain objects and structures that can be destroyed by your attacks will regenerate after a set amount of time passed. Similarly, fruits, berries, and other gatherable flora will grow back after a time. Come here. I'm climbing. Oh, I'm climbing. Let my magic the Stab him in the neck. Stab him. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, that lightning strike does huge damage. That's sick. Oh! Oh my god. Oh. He just threw me off his back and then crushed me with... <laughs> crushed me straight to death. What the hell, dude? Oof. Well. I guess, um, you know. <laughs> I guess we try again. <laughs> Good God, man. I thought I was doing so well. Things can turn on you really quickly. Okay, I actually need to uh, make myself average weight again. Let's see. Let's use that. There you go. You can have that. What else can I just kind of offload here? There we go. Average weight. There we go. That that should help my stamina out in this moment. No harm in picking a few. Okay. What triggers the event? I think it's the uh, the lead guy up here. Not to be water here. What's this? We're trapped. There we go. Ah, the Cyclops. To think we'd encounter one here of all places. Well, I mean, yes, I'm aware. The Cyclops. Hey, be on your guard. Up I go. Let my magic view your weapon with the fury of the elements. Stab. 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 Stabby. Stabby. So much stabby. Get up here, Billy. Stab him with me. On my way. 
Oh. Help me. All right, up I go again. Up I go. Grabbing larger foes in battle, you can grab hold of a foe while standing by to... Oh, my God. Words. You can grab hold of a foe while standing by, making contact with them while pressing right trigger. Once you have hold of an enemy, you can push or pull them to draw their focus or knock them off balance. How about I just get on his back and uh, stab him? Maybe right in the back of the head? Okay, very good. Now get off. Stab him. Stamina. I'm out of stamina, dude. Knock him off balance, dude. Come on. Give me that foot. Oh! Shit, he just sat on me. Oh, my. What? <laughs> I just got washed away by the river. <laughs> what just happened, dude? And now I'm just back up here? I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the. I'm having a good time with it so far, Trimmer. The capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under con- Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. It is your decision. Oh. Help me. Mary, please. Heals would be great. I have no idea what the hell just happened, but that was hilarious. This game has water slides? I guess so, this whole time. That was insane. It sucks I didn't get to loot the Cyclops, though. So what what I think happened is maybe we were able to uh, break the dam that was there, and it just kind of let loose the uh, the water, and it just took the Cyclops with it. Do you intend to join us? Um, make your own way. But for your own sake, I recommend you make your way to the capital sooner rather than later. I want to do some exploring and stuff, you know? How do I... Oh, there's Lantern. Lantern on. Oh, hey, there he is. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? I found the body. Interesting. Modest camping kits. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. I'm enjoying it so far, Mahel. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Yeah, but they then we can can't explore things. Though they travel only during the day. I definitely need to make camp, though. Not sure when we'll find a spot for that. Come to think of it, we're all of differing vocations, aren't we? Astute observation. Are unique as well. We must each of us hone our skill. Might there be aught over there? We ought to take a closer look. Aught. There's that word again. Well, 
I don't think there's anything over there, guys. Just a cliff. Hey, snowboards, I appreciate you doing so, man. <laughs> Becky, I've, I've done that, too. This is generally used as a material. A different combinations of materials result in different creations. Oh, there's a golden bug up there. I'm glad they glow. See, taking the ox cart would have made me miss this. My character's very heavy. But I can't stop picking things up. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. Oh. Actually, cannot see. These guys are shorter than I am, so <laughs> they're kind of hard to spot in the grass. Oh! When you take damage, not only is your remaining health reduced, but the max health you can recover is reduced also. The loss gauge represents this temporary reduction and is likely to accumulate if you do not rest between battles. Your max health will remain reduced even after the battle is over, and you will be unable to recover it with the use of curative magic items. The lost gauge can only be recovered by resting at an inn or campsite. Keep your party in fine fettle by resting after prolonged battles, and consider a tactical retreat if your party's health is worn too low. Quick, the flames. Um, I'm dead because I'm on fire. Sick. I'm enjoying it so far, Madcap. I think it's good. The weight increase permanent? Yes. Ouch. Look, Master, goblins. We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Let my master be your weapon of security elements. When armed, be sure to avoid the I kind of wish I could pull back the camera a tiny little bit, though. Just a, just a touch. I feel like I'm a little bit too close to my character. Stamina. I think we uh, stumbled upon an entire goblin encampment here. They're everywhere. Let us defer to the Arisen's judgment. I suppose it's so. There are more up here yet, as well as way up there. I'm gonna go up. That guy up top Let's will be the death of us. Throwing torches at me. What a jerk. The paths to victory are myriad indeed. Wait, he's gone. Well, well, follow me a surprise. It's okay. At least we get the goods. How's the game? It is very enjoyable.
Let's not face plant, please. This ox cart has been destroyed. The roads are hardly safe. Careful now. Sheesh, man. I went all the way up there and that goblin wasn't even there anymore. You guys just see that big-ass grasshopper? An exclamation mark here. Let me get that. It looks like it'll break. There we go. Alright. Well, I'm glad we were able to ambush some of them, at least. Before it got out a little crazy. Now, well, back on the main path. Is no great shock to me. There's some mans up here. Uh, neither Psyduck. There's really nothing... There's not a lot, a lot of games out there that I could compare this to, if I'm completely honest. Very useful. I've got wares of every ilk. Like it's just people always look for things to compare this to, but there's really no other game to compare this game to and how it works. It just straight up isn't. I don't want to sell any of my stuff, man. Nine hundred for the misshapen eye, though. We talking about Skyrim? It's absolutely not Skyrim. I guess we can sell the rotten stuff. Have the rotten meat, sir. Hope to see you again, eh, Long. Damn, those camping packs are so heavy. That's insane. There you go, Billy. Now my stamina is so much better. More goblins. Oh boy. What the hell just hit me? Quick, Why am I? <laughs> Heal me! Stay Thank you. Me, Wait right there. I grant you roaring flame. Okay, cool. Thank you. I just got hit by that torch immediately. I didn't even see it. Insane. Ah, camp down there. Hey, Julio. I just took that rock straight to the forehead. Yes, master. I shall hasten to your aid. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Some grape action. Okay, I like grapes. I actually haven't had grapes in a while. Come to think that sounds of it, good. We're all of differing vocations, aren't we? 
Our respective abilities are unique okay. as well. Okay, bonfire down there, I need that. Each of us hone our skills. A jack of all trades is a master of none. Ooh, skeletons? Oh, that's a, that's a big-ass sword you got there, dude. Nice. Oh, let's not fall off. Did we get them all? I think we got them all. That skeleton sword was huge. Did you guys see that? All right, let's camp. Actually, let's make sure there's nothing in the area first. We got something glowing over there. Surely they won't attack me over here. I need to camp. Why did my game just minimize? Okay. Can I cook food? Cook food, scrag of beast. Yes. Oh, god damn. That's a straight up video of someone <laughs> someone cooking some meat. There's no way <laughs> that's rendered in game. I'm all for swapping stories, but perhaps another night. I can scarce keep my eyes open. Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. Oh yeah, it's broken on your side. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can fix this. Dude, there's something is wrong with this game's client in a really bad way. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm beginning to think that our master is simply fond of camping. How else to explain why we so rarely stay at inns? I was just there thinking we go. that. Alright, rest till morning. Yeah, it's all fixed now, guys. It's okay. It's all fixed. Something so this game's client is really just It's one of those games where it just doesn't like multi monitor setups. Where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? Let me look at the quest. Okay, we're still we're still working that way. It's fine. I would have Ooh. preferred not to have to fight so soon. But at least I know I am up to the challenge. Oh. Let my magic launch from the mental moon. All right. This is a more linear RPG, Unimon. This is not open world. It's not a Souls-like. It has action, but it is more like RPG action than it is anything else. It is not like Elden Ring whatsoever. Magical 
Steam page says open world, though. Open world can be defined as, like, an open world with linear paths in it, though. So let's not, like, let's not be pedantic, right? Like, these are very narrow paths that I'm passing through with, like, some juts off of it here and there so far. That's like calling Final Fantasy open world. It's the same idea. Borden, you were a huge help this fight, man. I am enjoying it so far, yeah. This is generally used as a material. <laughs> generally, yes. The different combinations of materials result in different creations. All right, Mary, can you Whatever come heal me? You need, I shall gladly oblige. My curative magics are at your disposal. I appreciate Point it, dude. Right there. Hey, good to see you, Eric. Hope you're doing all right, man. No, I was talking about 16, Scott, because people called that game open world as well, but it was like linear open areas. 15, yes, it was much more open, Every but, you know, still. Served has favored different tactics. One party I joined consisted only of ranged specialists. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. When it's not used as a material, what's it used for? For throwing at your enemies. <laughs> Just throw it as hard as you can. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? Astute observation there, Billy. Much love to you too, Eric. Never played 16? I wouldn't recommend ever trying it. <laughs> it's really not good. We have some ruins here. Surely there's something cool here, right? Surely. Oh, there's a man. A cat person. Stab him. Very good. Looks like maybe we got some bandits, huh? Oh, what the hell is this? I actually never saw what it was. Oh, it's Lizard Man's. Oh, Billy's just taking him for a ride. Oh. Holy fire, dude. Poor guy's got an arrow in his eye, too. Three hundred fifty gold in that guy's pocket. Hell yeah. Now that was a fight. There's lizard man's dude. I have uh, all the above when I'm playing on a PC right now. And yeah, I did cut off his tail there, didn't I? Whoops. Saurian scale. To open yon chest. Ooh, 
Ooh. Stilettos. Okay. Some new weaponry here. It's a little better. It's a little bit better. We'll take it. No, there are no mounts in this game. But again, I don't think every game needs mounts. What's more, we've traveled for some time without a mage in our party. We've no need of a healer if we never get hit. Wait, what happened to Mary? Well, that is a feat easy I just realized, did Mary die? <laughs> I didn't even realize in the chaos that Mary died. She's not here now. Oh no. I enjoyed the original fantasy final yeah, Final Fantasy 12, but I never played the uh the remake. Never played it. But uh the original was is my favorite Final Fantasy game straight up. Really liked it. Okay, well, we are currently mageless. I can't even find her body, so... Dare we go in the cave? Freshly rested as we are. This battle ought to be in our face. Yep, I'm going in the cave. Lantern on. Come with me. We're going in. It is our first time here. Be vigilant. We do not yet know what to expect. Best we don't work ourselves into a dither. After all, there might be naught to find. Hey, Smiley. Mary went to pee. Bad timing. Have you forgotten something, Arisen? You're looking rather lost. Shut up, man. I'm exploring. You can't explore without getting a little lost, right? Let's be honest. Dungeon delving in an RPG is, like, one of the best things. You know, there's definitely goblins here somewhere. They got all their stuff here. But where? There. Oh, uh, that is a larger than usual goblin. Is that a hobgoblin? Oh! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Um, hold on. I need to... <laughs> I need to heal a little bit here. I seem to be burning. Oh, no. Pawn forfeiture and revival. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero and are unable to stir from where they have fallen without aid. If you leave your pawn in an immobile state for a prolonged length of time, they become forfeit and will be forcibly removed from your party. The Arisen can attempt to revive a pawn by approaching them and touching them. If multiple pawns lie immobile in the vicinity, the Arisen can revive them simultaneously. For max health, the revived pawn will be equal to the Arisen's remaining health. Well, I mean, I'm still burning, so... Okay. Billy, please hold. Come back to me, Billy. I am grateful to you, Arisen. Ooh, what's this? Aha! Silver ore. So, you guys, that, that first little casket I threw in spread oil all over the room, and then I went and just attacked an explosive barrel, and so that is why we got the result we did. It's a pretty cool idea. I'm glad that happens, but I gotta be more careful about that. What I should have done is let everyone stay outside. Like, just have everyone wait on the outside, and then I could just, like, go in myself and blow it up or something. Or, like, lure them out. Either way. 
just blowing everything up was not a good idea. It cleared the room, but... At what cost, man? It cost me everything. One can see far to the distance from here. Perhaps we might take a moment to savor the scene. Settlement is just visible in the distance. Mayhap new discoveries lie in wait there. Right you are. Assuming that's it right there. Pretty sure that's the city, actually. The city's, like, right there. Yeah. Looks like a cemetery over there. Anyway, let's hire a healer, shall we? I need a mage. No, apparently Mary had, like, perma-died. She was removed from the party. We got Melina over here. Look at that. We got Gwen. We got Starks. Main Pawn. Violet. Lexi. Lisa. Snow. Alduin, Gerald, Watson. Oh my god, it actually looks like a little bit like Watson from uh, Apex Legends. Alan, Logo, Prissy. Hey, you have a unique staff. I'm not seeing that one yet. Maybe we'll hire you. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. All right, hire. Knowing when to use curatives is my special. It will be an honor to serve by your side. Specializations are skills that can only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial, for they allow the pawn to act independently, and this can result in unexpected consequences. However, in a little patience, planning, and due care, specializations can prove very useful and are worth well worth trying out. If you'd like your pawn to learn a specialization, you would do well to befriend people with various traits and tendencies in the world around you. Sooner or later, these friendships are bound to create opportunities for your pawn to acquire a specialization. A pawn can only acquire one specialization at a time, and learning a new specialization will replace the old one. Consult each specialization's entry for more information about its effects. Um. I didn't see her specialization, so... Oops. Anyway. I'm leaving. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead and heal. Yes, master. I shall hasten to your aid. Heal us up. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Right now. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle. Oh. I was hoping we could check out uh, the stuff from there, but maybe we do it from here. No. Can't really see. Oh well, I give up. Nice, Itachi. I hope you enjoy it. We've got goblins. Oh. Oh my god, stop it. I could have done no better. Whoa. Damn. Oh, high five, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I don't know what that ice spell was, but that was sick. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Uh, you're soaked. Do try not to catch cold. 
Oof. I got knocked down. Really just one shot that guy? Oh, stab him. Stab him immediately. That was thrilling. I did not know I could feel so alive. <laughs> the way he says it is kind of robotic. I did not know I could feel so alive. Where's Wolf? All right, good job. Can't see where it is in all the bushes, man. All right. Short compares to the thrill of victory. One cannot help but feel indomitable. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Just so did I do, um... Alright, I'm glad I decided to go my own way instead of going in the ox cart. Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! What? What happened? Vulgarous Lord. I think I have four of those now. All right, there's the uh, little settlement I think that they mentioned earlier. Also an item over here of some kind. Something gatherable. There it is. All right, for science, we need to kill a deer. Look at that. You can I get me from them. Statue. Why don't we go take a look? Oh yeah, I do see it up there. Right above my head. Uh, what was that? Are you? Oh. Are we friends? Ooh. So I guess, um, 400 gold on that guy. What the? What? Ouch. Oh, dude, this guy's kicking my ass. Also, the Drake, the Drake just spoke in my head. Said that is the way chosen one. Should I tell everyone in my party that I'm hearing voices or just kind of keep that to myself? What do you think? Probably to myself, right? If they knew I was hearing voices, they probably would uh, not want to follow me anymore. You know, this guy's crazy. Found Onyx. What's this game about? It's an this RPG where you campsite. are what's called an Arisen. Better you are a chosen here, person by a dragon. The dragon has eaten the main character's hearts. And the idea is, is that you are special because you were chosen this way. And generally the Arisen it ends up as like a, the kingdom's leader. The king, if you will. And they're all supposed to have like notable powers and whatnot. And the whole idea, I believe, is that you end up just fighting some really tough stuff. But that is just, um... Oh my! 
That's like the Cliff Notes version of things because I haven't actually played the original in so long that I don't remember. These guys are camouflaged. That's kind of nuts. Do I hear another one up here? Oh, right there. Where? There. Yo, high five, dude. Hey, Nimrod. Welcome back, Mumanek. I will protect you. Is that the only one? It was not. Are we ignoring the enemy today? No, not ignoring, just have no way of getting up there. Oh, nice. Nice shot. How did that hit me? Oh, now I can climb it. Now that they're dead, I can climb it. Thanks, dude. I am enjoying the game so far, yes. So far, so good. Me thinks we can move this boulder if we work together. Oh yeah? I say we give it a push and see what happens. Do you think so? Ooh. A lot of mans down here. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. Oh, what the shit? Oh, I want to just, like... Chop though those barrels so bad. Gotta let my stamina recover. Billy's in trouble. Nice. Oh my god, dude. Get me out of here. Stay with me, Thank you for the heals. There goes your tail. See ya. Okay, everyone lived. That's good. Everyone's alive, guys. <laughs> that was crazy. What a lot of people are saying as far as the game being bad isn't so far the gameplay being bad. It's more like the game's performance is being lackluster for them, as well as like the you know people that like to be outspoken against things like De Nuvo and whatnots.
Oh. Um, could you not blow up all those barrels or? Get them over here. I think if you put them down in the same spot, we can revive them both. Very good. Why does my... Every time an achievement pops up, my game minimizes. Or goes into windowed. That's so weird. Master, I'm not sure how much longer I can keep going without rest. We really ought to take a moment to catch out. No, I wouldn't call the game easy. It's just we're still in the early game. This game definitely gets tougher as time goes on. For sure. Or at least the uh, first one did. What the hell is even that? Did it just die to like an amorphous blob? Screen messed up again. God damn it, dude. Sorry, guys. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. And this game has some really rough screen stuff going on. Oh. Um, so the blob Master? just disappeared? appear to be carrying rather a lot perhaps you ought yeah i'm still so heavy Still so heavy, man. Here. Um take those. These are actually point two each. I'm trying to look for like one specific thing that might be weighing me down, but I think it's just like everything put together. Give those to him. All right, good enough for now. A few things down. Can't help but loot all the things, man. More ore down here. Of course I gotta mine it. Even though I was just over encumbered. <laughs> you never know, man. building like covered in a cloud the day grows darker with our every step be it pricks it will be difficult to pinpoint distant foes by sight alone uh something's purple up there
Well. They are very healthy, my god. just happened I'm blighted that can't be good this should be a piece there goes your tail buddy okay Those guys had a lot more help than everything else I've fought so far. But I couldn't resist the, uh, the opportunity to fight them. To the chest. I shall take a look inside. No, Scott, uh, I talked about that at the beginning of the stream, man. Um, so from what I've seen, yes, the microtransactions suck. I will always hate single-player microtransactions. I very adamantly do not like them, and I have expressed that with many games that have them, including uh, like when I played Assassin's Creed Valhalla and whatnot. That's nothing new, and I will always say the yes, same master. thing until I'm blue in the I face. However, you can still play a game without buying them, right? I think I think it's okay to have nuance. It's, you're allowed to have nuance. And from what I've seen a lot of people say so far as well that have been playing the game a lot more than I have already is they've had zero need to ever buy them. They're there just to exist, I guess. But like you can still get everything that in the game at a pretty steady pace without ever buying them. I'm not saying it's a good thing that they're there and I never will, but it's okay to have a nuanced opinion on it too. It doesn't have to be black or white. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? I'm still blighted. I'm not sure how long it takes to go away. No, I agree, Hendrax. It shouldn't have been there because it makes them look really bad. I agree. I'm not saying it's a good thing they exist, and I will never say that. Whatever it is you need. Like I just said. You have no need of my assistance at present. But I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. We're all still blighted. I'm not sure if it's permanent. Billy, get back here. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. There's a camp nearby. Maybe we try using that. Maybe it'll help. Asp toxic scale. Toxic scale, rather. Where was it? There it is. Hey, Frozen. I did get the Toxic Scale. Maybe I need to use that to craft a potion or something. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Let's try this. Let's see if this helps us. Well, no longer taking damage from it. So there is that, I guess. Hmm. 
Yeah, Hendrax, probably. Well, we've eaten our fill. What's Developers are very rarely uh, able to really have much of a say when it comes to things like Surely that. we have time for a short kip ere we continue on our merry way. But again, this is not a defense of the game, but you can very much so play it without worrying about the microtransactions. Like, I want to be very clear about that. It's not a defense of the game. It sucks they exist, and I will. I agree that Capcom should feel shame over that. Statue. Absolutely. Will yield us sort of use. What say we mark it in our minds as a place of interest? I do not blame people for being upset about What's that whatsoever. There? I can't make much out from here, but I have a feeling it will be worth the climb. Master, I believe I could be of aid here. I would gladly be available. You have a take on subscription-based models versus actually buying a game? Subscription-based models are garbage. Games as a service, garbage. Live service model, garbage. With our combined might. A firm push is what's needed here. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. Hang in there, master. I am coming to assist. I'm just low on stamina, man. It's okay. Anyway. Do -do. Oh, interesting. I knew I heard harpies. Um, hey, anyone want to, like, help her out, or? So is this another pawn, or what? I'll carefully conserve yeah. my strength and endeavor to survive every battle. You are wise indeed to have sought my aid. I don't want your aid. Thank you. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. It will find a use for it, I'm sure. Strawberries. My knowledge from other worlds tells me that a forgotten riftstone lies near here. Shall I lead the way? You know what the shit of it is, too? Is they... As much as I say they should feel shame, I know they don't. Because they, they specifically waited until the last moment to talk about the, the whole microtransaction idea. They announced it at the very last moment. Like, just as the game was launching. So it was like, they knew that it wouldn't be well received. They knew. And they did it anyway. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. How's performance? Things have been fine so far, but I know things will tank when I get to the city. That's how it always goes. Stop it! Oh, nice shot. You know what's worse ab about it all yet? Is it's actually, like, the, the gameplay is fun. Like, that, that, like... They have a quality product here, and they just kind of squander with shit like that. That's so annoying. Hold on, guys. Give me a moment. All right. Over so soon. Why, we seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't <laughs> allow ourselves to be Take each trial as it comes. Okay. There's ought to be found there. So something else as well. is like, I, I want to be clear about this as well. When I am playing a game on stream, it doesn't mean that I'm like endorsing it and saying that everyone should buy this game. The only time that I will say that is if I am truly thinking that everything about the game is recommendable. Like you guys know from me, 
uh, when when Diablo 4 came out, and then they announced the whole, you know, seasonal content shit. I was very bothered by that. And I said, you may as well just go play Diablo 2 at this point. Because it's the same thing, just with newer graphics, but you don't have to, like, spend more money on a new game right now if you don't want to. You're going to get the same experience there. If you want that same experience, just go play Diablo 2 if you already have it. I am always very clear and concise about, like, what I recommend. When someone asks me, how is the game so far? I'm going to be honest, like, right now I'm having a good time. Now, that said, just because I'm having a, a good time doesn't mean it's something that's like, oh, you should go buy this right away. That's not the same thing. Where do you think you're going, eh? As planned. Am I being attacked by this mage? I am. Holy shit. I didn't... I, I thought that was my mage. Yikes. I grant you roaring flame. I just want to be clear about that because just like I don't want people to twist this into something like just because I play a game on stream means that I 100% endorse everything about it because that's not fair to say. There's plenty of people that play all sorts of games that they both love and hate, right? I just want to be very clear. Hold fast, Arisen. I will be with you in but a moment. Yeah, I need to replace Borden, you're right. You needn't pick up everything you find, you know? <laughs> That's the thing, game. I do need to pick up everything I find. I do need to. It is mandatory. It's loot! I have the, uh... <laughs> The loot goblin emote for a reason, okay? That's right. You're apt to fall prey to the first foe we encounter. This game looks boring. They each their own. I'm having a blast. Yeah! Not every gamer is for everyone. That's all right. I was just getting warmed up. We got a little stab happy there. The co op? No. Okay, so we want to keep going forward, take the bridge on my right, and then take a left from there. When you playing Elden Ring again? Probably when the DLC comes out. Oh, fuck. All right, let's get him. Let me grab them cheeks real quick, bud. Holy damages. Fall back. I will see you. I got you. Wait. The brute has quite the temper. 
Nice. Stab him in the eye, dude. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. As he fights like this are so sick. This is very Monster Hunter-esque. Good shit. See, those big fights are the most exhilarating thing. Like, that is cool. That was cool, man. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Is this Kratos? No, this is what I look like in real life. That's me. If you don't believe me, go look at my Instagram. Granted, I don't walk around with two knives in my hands, but... And is a rarity besides. <laughs> Yo, Hendrax, thank you for the 10 pounds. Your transparency is refreshing. They have messed up for sure, but there's a solid game there somewhere. Yes. Hope they patch early as I, as I was eager to play today after work until all the comments came in. And that's fair. There's nothing wrong with feeling burned. Like, I'll be honest with you. The only reason I'm playing this live on stream now, despite the things that I don't like about it, even though it does have, there is gold here. Like that, that fight right there was hands down my favorite part of the game so far. That was cool, right? But everything else leading up to this moment, I could do without, you know? Like the biggest thing here is that the only reason I'm playing this today is because I've been talking about it for months. I've been saying for months to expect this to be played live on stream. And when they dropped all this stuff at the last moment, obviously that pissed me off, right? That obviously upset me. But I made a promise to you guys to play this game on stream. So, here we are. How's the enemy variety? Right now, I've encountered... A couple of these uh, cyclops. Cool here. What the I found a then? lot of goblins, this a few hobgoblins, some wolves, as well as uh, two different types of like saurians or lizards. Right you are. One of one type like poisons, the other one does not. Uh, I've also encountered some skeletons, which the skeletons actually looked badass. They were sick. Um, what else have we seen? You know, we fought some like uh, some people that look like us, some humans, and some of the cat people, Our stuff like that. I'd say the variety this early in the game is actually pretty solid. To a different task. Capable comrades are a boon indeed. Is that you say? Uh, Anthony, the, the developers, or well, I should say Capcom, attached a bunch of microtransactions to the game at the last moment. Uh, things like... It like costs like $2 to change the look of your character and stuff like that. Just really stupid shit. Just really, actually quite bummer that Seven they add risen. stuff like this. How might I be of aid? My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait right there. Three shards combined to form a wake stone. Oh. Nice. How about you heal Billy? Oh, Billy, come back here, dude. Step in the circle. Heal up. There you go. Good job. Also, there are um, there are some performance issues. I've not experienced any yet. However, we are approaching the city, and if this is like any other game that has performance issues, the cities perform the worst. So, we'll see how it goes when we get there. The game is not boring. I don't agree. Just yonder looks to be a good spot. I, I'm having a very good time with it. I really am. We could pick honest. Some now but again, not every game is for everyone. If you don't like it, that's cool. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon.
Oh, my guy becomes like Sonic the Hedgehog for just a moment. Anything cool in the house? One thing I will say, though, is at least the microtransactions, at least that I've seen so far, don't, invibe, don't involve buying weapons and armor like they did in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That was bullshit. That was some real shitty shit. Base the main tune off of me? No, this is based off me. But <laughs> no, this is very much so myself. I've heard some interesting tidings about town regarding the Vermont. Uh -huh. It would seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. Did I not pick up all the items in here? Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist. I'm just low on stamina. I'm fine. So the microtransactions do suck. And I, again, I will say it till I'm blue in the face. They suck. I hate it that it exists. At least it's not involved like buying weapons and shit. At least that I've seen. I'm not seeing anything else here. I'm just going to go. Wendy, they give the two dollars. What happened to Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Uh, it was a, the game itself was okay, but the game had uh, microtransactions in it that allowed you to purchase weapons and armor sets in a single player game. I mean, I don't even like that in multiplayer, <laughs> let alone in single player. Is there no? Oh yeah, I need to consume the beetle. Consume. Through this door. Okay, I want to loot these buildings so bad, but I'm not going to, because I'm already, like, on the brink. Holy shit! This is the same area as the first game, I'm pretty sure. I remember this broken down aqueduct. Is this the same city as the first game, guys? It's been a long time, but I just had a major deja vu hitting this spot. I'll pick that up. We might have need of it. <laughs> Microtransactions in single player oh. game is insane. I agree. Halt! You are approaching the gates of Vernworth, capital of Vermont. None may pass without the proper documents. If you've an entry permit, an invitation, or proof of citizenship, present it now. I see. So you are to meet with Captain Brandt. A chance impede you then. Come with me. I keep thinking that the... the Dialogue is going to keep going by itself, but I have to press A to continue. Captain Brandt, you should know that this individual fought valiantly to defend the troops. The watchhead told me himself. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. 
I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. Right. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. <laughs> if the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your coming. Right. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Gisa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. She mad. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Ah. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. All right then. How about uh, getting me like some clothes though? Has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? And the game went crazy again, which means that the capture is going to break again, isn't it? I wish it would stop going windowed mode. Hold on just a second, guys. For me, this is the, like the, the biggest issue right now is it just keeps breaking the window. The capture. Both Vermund and Batal regard the Scourge of the Dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature alight on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace and with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. Yeah, I've been wearing this potato, uh, potato sack for a few days now. It'd be nice to get like a solid Pray set of new clothes. Me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> okay. Consign it! Get back here! Um, don't tell me that guy just bumped into me and stole money, right? You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? Do we lie? Or tell the truth. I think we lie, right? Usually when a situation like this pops up, surely it means something good for me comes about. Surely. Lie? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. He went that away. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Oh, I didn't help you out enough? Aha! There you are! Uh-oh. 
Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. <laughs> okay. Tis good to be reunited. All right. Let's see. Let's look at our quests. See to the Sovereign, visit the Star Drop Inn a night, and confer with Captain Brandt. For now, let's explore around a little bit. Hold on, I want to see if there's any performance drops here. I put my uh, frame counter in the top right of the screen. I'm playing on max quality, by the way. Yeah, some good frame droppage here. There it is. There it is. Let's see. Silbert Sundries, Bjorn's Armory, Roderick's Smithy. Let's check out Roderick Smithy, shall we? <laughs> no snitching. Whoops. Any one of these fine pieces will serve you. What you need of me? Um. Do you not sell anything, sir? I guess not. Or maybe it's too late in the evening. I don't know. You'll have to do well to beat today. Okay. Hey, Edward. Let's see. Star Drop Inn is over there. Grand Riftstone, Clovis's Barbary. Pawn Guild. Vocation Guild. Yeah, well, maybe we should just go there now. Screw it. May the people find the sucker in these troubles. I'll go and open the chest. Oh. All right. Thanks. <laughs> Shakir's in. Hello there. Well met. You are come to you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. All right, I need to put some things away. I am very heavy, sir. I just like I don't know, man. When I when I cook food at the camp, I can only cook so much. You know, I think they actually consume it like right then and there, right? Very much so like Monster Hunter, where you just get the buffs from whatever you cook right then and there. But a lot of this stuff is going rotten because I can't cook it quick enough. It's kind of a predicament. And if I put it away, it's just going to rot away as well. You know? I don't give my other two pawns a whole lot of items right now because, like, when you move, remove them from your team, all that stuff just ended up going to your storage anyway. Let me see what I can uh, combine. Maybe just make a whole bunch of healing stuff. Interesting. Mincemeat, Roberint, which I've got two, and a Saurian tail. Let's see. Exquisite Roberint. The big heals. Restores an astonishing amount of health and stamina. Interesting. Two ripened har spuds gives me dried spud. Can make all sorts of different things. Or, you know, a lot of the same recipes with different things is what I'm trying to say here. 
All right, that recovers stamina. Let me just... There you go. I'm still very heavy, but my weight has gone down significantly here. Put all this stuff away that I'm not currently using. Oops. There we go. I do need to kick Borden out of the team and get a higher level person there. We can hire someone level 12 just fine. I need to get rid of more stuff though. I'm just gonna put all the food away, I guess. I don't know. Why am I still so heavy, though? What is it that's really weighing me down? Hmm. Oh. You know, 22 to 2 of those is 2.2 kilograms by itself. Let me put away, like, half of these. I'm average weight now. Still quite heavy overall, though. I should be lesser. We'll put those away. Not really using those right now. All right, that's for the lantern. Let's put a couple of those away, though. Don't need them all in my pocket. I think we're okay now. I get so much gold uh, by looting everything. <laughs> it's the weight of the guilt of those civilians you murdered with the ballista. You know where to find. I don't know what you're talking about. I have no weight. I have no guilt. I just put all this stuff away, immediately start looting more. Immediately. The use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures of cities and towns, but you may also place your own port crystals at destinations of your choice. You may have up to 10 poor crystals placed at various locations throughout the world at any one time. Once placed, a poor crystal can be recovered if you wish to have move it somewhere else. Permanent poor crystals in cities and towns must be interacted with at least once before they become available as fairy stone destinations. There you go. Okay. Let's use this. Uh, let's go with Keldy. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. All right, later, Borden. It's been fun, man. Here, take this fish. I leave you with a fish. At least I go, knowing I fought to the if best. If ever you've of need life. of an ear to listen. Okay. This room is <laughs> yeah, it is the image. It is the first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Oh no! Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence, and in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. 
Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may. Yes. What are these rewards? Fairy Stone, Ring of Vehemence, Dowsing Spikes? They're called Snakes on the Hunt. Interesting. Ring of Triumph. Just a lot of interesting stuff, I guess. Just you with. All right, let's change skills. I got 4225 DCP now. Biting wind becomes cutting wind. Advanced form of biting wind that has an extended attack range. Okay. In kindled blades, how about ignited? Advanced form of kindled blades that has a longer lasting effect can also be employed while clinging to or pinning down a foe. That is one of my stronger abilities. It definitely wrecks. But Helm Splitter is my big, big, big damage for sure. Smoke Bomb that blinds nearby targets useful for creating chaos when counterattacking or drawing can also be employed while clinging to or pinning down a foe or in midair. I'm going to go Ignited Blades. Um... Oh, I need Controlled Fall. Rob's target of an item when an attack connects, activating activates when using Carve, but has low success rates. Hmm. Kicks off a wall, allowing the user to launch themselves a great distance. Jump toward a wall, then while making contact with it, use L to determine the direction of the, the jump and press A. Yep. That could be fun mid-combat. Slightly restores health when you deliver the killing blow to a foe. Yes. My god, yes. Oh, damn. Look at that weapon. Good god. Good god. I do like the game, and I can recommend it. Just be aware that there are some performance issues, as well as the whole idea of the microtransactions. If you're against that... I wouldn't say it's something you should go out of your way to buy. I feel like because of the nature of this game, this is going to be a game that people should wait for and maybe play in the future when it's on sale. Because the whole idea of them just kind of releasing this stuff last minute, it's kind of shitty, to be honest. And while it's like the gameplay itself is recommendable, buying the game, I cannot. It is slimy, yes. Ooh. That's frustrating? It is. Like, the gameplay is genuinely good, but it's just, it's so shitty what they did. Oh, <laughs> interesting. get that on there. Oh my god. Oh, dude! What the hell? That attack seems insane. Springboard. That could be very useful. Hmm. Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. Okay. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand. We are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. Uh-oh. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick, he runs the local armory. May fortune smile upon you, sir. Whence might we procure such a thing? I'm stealing this. 
<laughs> Another ring of exaltation. Interesting. Can I put that on my other hand? Get double the effects? I can. Even more health. Sick. Oh. What does this say? A thorough perusal. Billy, Keldy. The of oh, there's Percy over there. What are you doing? Climb. Lots to do. Hello, sir. Your Majesty. Your timing is impeccable. I just thought to call for you. I don't like it either, Elgernon. It's not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Kind of wish it would just carry on. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Okay. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Buy an upgraded potato sack? I should. <laughs> Yet if you have to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign, that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. Entry to such an event is limited to the chosen few. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Tell me of monster calling. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? Yarp. I thank you, your majesty. There are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians there. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermont. We have been charged okay. with the selling of monsters. Cooperation is our strength. We face our task with an Welcome to we serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to Alright, so we need to go to the other side of the inn in order to sleep. Let's go do that. Yeah, performance definitely takes a big dip here. You can see in the top right corner the frames are dropping left and right. Greetings. Welcome to the here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. Um, always a pleasure. Am I missing something? I thought I could sleep there. Let's go check out the smithy. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps then climb it, dude. New discoveries await us above. He has more tasks, yes, but the tasks are time sensitive in this game. So generally speaking, you don't want to accept a whole bunch of stuff at once. The game tells you that at the very beginning. Hello, sir. What brings you here? What brings you here? This guy straight up will not speak with me. It's very weird. I don't understand. Maybe it's because it's past a certain time. Maybe to just sleep. But yeah, usually in a lot of games, I would just accept all the tasks and then go out in the world and just do them. But they want you to do things like one or two at a time. It's kind of weird, but it's just the way it is. I'm 
my god. Back out, please. Thank you. Interested in my wares? I'm interested in taking a nap. That's what I'm interested in right now. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. Rest till morning. I have no issue falling asleep. 2,000 gold, by the way. That is one-tenth of my entire funding. Just to take a nap. Crazy. Just certain side quests are time sensitive? Oh. The, the way they said it earlier in the game, it made it seem like everything is. Now let's see, now that it's morning, if that guy will speak with me. Or maybe it's just... Oi, friend. Klaus sent word that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. Yes. I'd be grateful for aught you can reclaim, truly. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding the stolen arms in their den. From the tell of it, their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If aught were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold can compare to a fellow life, eh? All right. What do you got? I saw something that said throat cutters. I've already got stilettos. These are actually weaker than what I have. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Broadsword is marginally better there. Cutlass even more so. Don't know if it's worth spending that much money on, though. We'll probably end up finding something that's better. Especially this early on. Oh, I forgot I got chainmail earlier in the game. Enhance equipment. If you have the requisite... Oh my god, words. If you have the requisite materials to hand, you can enhance your web equipment at any... Shop equipped with a forge. Consider enhancing your equipment according to your level and fighting style. There are several styles of smithing used in enhancements, and each one produces a different result, such as moderate all-around improvement or significant increase to magic or might. Choose the style that is most compatible with your preferred equipment and approach to combat. Hmm. Just 265 gold to enhance these. Sure. Just a small enhancement. And then slate-colored horns are needed for the next one. Worry about doing more of that when I get, you know, higher level stuff. But for that low gold, I mean, that's... I, I've looted more off of goblins. This whole time, I think it's the chainmail that was adding a shitload of weight. I didn't realize I even had it in my inventory. I thought it was equipped, but it didn't have the E on it. Damn it, man. <laughs> Alright, now I need to buy pants. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Sir, do you have pants? You do. Seven thousand nine hundred for that. Jesus. I'll buy combat breaches. There. So if we... 
Can I sell my potato sack? Yes. Very good. Fit the price. Just many thanks. I appreciate the business. There we go. I feel so much better about my character now. So much better. Alright. Just now getting pants? Yes. They had pants in your inventory? No, the pants I was wearing were like the slaver ones where it's just like safe for travel. Like almost uh, like just something that covers the waist and then so your feet. Only during the day. Where's that at? That's to the west and the southwest. All right. So here's the deal, guys. We're going to call it a night here. Because I am very, very hungry and need to go get some food. But I do have a video on my channel that I just uploaded today. It is covering the uh, Dark Souls 3 Arch Thrones mod. There's a new mod that came out for Dark Souls 3, or at least a demo of one, that has like, I don't know, 18 or 20 bosses or something, and my video covers almost all of them. It's very tough, actually. I'm very proud that I got through it. I got through the entire mod in like 10 hours, and then I cut the video down to about two and a half. If you haven't checked that out yet, you should. Go over there and check that video out now, okay? And I'll be back tomorrow to check out more of this. We got 350 likes on the video today, so it looks like you guys enjoyed this. We'll come back and play more of this tomorrow, okay? In the meantime, let's make a save. Very good. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed your stay. Thank you for coming by and checking out this game with me. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys. I will see you for more tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other. Good night, everyone.